What's going on guys, Carlos here from Live Gaming Paradise and we are back with another Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild tutorial. This time it's Spring of Power and this is a really long one. I hope you're all doing well so strap on and let's get started with the quest. So this quest will unlock a shrine. I will do the shrine in a different video because this, this uh, quest is quite uh, long and you have to go and do quite a few things, especially if you're not close to a shrine where the when you need to get a certain part of this um, quest, you're going to see that it's going to be difficult. So what you have to do, you have to go to the shrine that I just traveled to. I will show that on the map just now so you guys can see where it is. It's near Gorham City, um, on the, uh, the north of Gorham City. Um, so you need to go to that shrine and then keep walking to the left and go to the furthest part of the the rock structure where you're at, where the shrine is at and just go left, all the way left just keep following the path as I'm doing right now there's some, be some baddies along the way if you've got the heat suit this will be plain sailing but if you don't, just be careful because some of these lizards just spew fire and they, all, they can kill you really quickly when you come into this area here, you'll see a huge skeleton. This is the easiest way I've found to get this dragon and to get one of its claws. So go on top of the skeleton, which is the Elden Great Skeleton, and you want to go into the spine of the skeleton, and you, you want to go up the top of, one, of the tallest one of the spine. Vertebral? It's right in the middle of the spine. So you go to the top and now you got to wait until 1 a.m. So if you come at the same time as I did, you just have to wait a long time. You can always do a fire next to the skeleton and um, and then um, skip time to night time. Uh, but be be aware that there are monsters underneath me. So if you're going to do a fire, you go all the way towards the tail of the skeleton and then do a fire there. So about 1 o'clock in the morning, about 1.05, you will see this dragon, this fire dragon coming through the sky. And what you have to do is just grab your arrows and you have to shoot at it. It doesn't really matter what type of arrow it is, but as soon as it gets really close, then just shoot at it and he's going to drop something and you need to pick that up. And that's what you need to take back to the fountain and... Um, and you need to obviously um, unlock the, the shrine. So he dropped something, I think it's a claw, if I'm not mistaken. It's, it's a scale, derail scale. So you need to get that and then you need to go back to the, to the fountain. Obviously you need to go to the shrine near the fountain because you can't really go to the fountain because you, you haven't unlocked the shrine there. Um, but go to the nearest one and then uh, run over to the fountain. Uh, once you get to the fountain, I've, I thought you would drop it on the altar where you go and pray, but you don't. You drop it, actually drop it in the water and that will unlock the shrine. That is it and you should unlock the shrine behind the statue. You, some um, door will open behind the statue which will reveal the shrine. So I hope you're enjoying these videos. I am I'm trying to get as much content out as possible at least a couple of videos a day one to two videos a day and uh, I hope you're you finding this useful if you did please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content like this so this is it for this video guys thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one goodbye <laughs>